Welcome back to Civically Minded. I'm your host, Corey Wing. On today's relatively short episode, I just want to give a quick plug for tomorrow's episode, which you absolutely will not want to miss. And I want to brag on some fellow Christians who we met with over the weekend while we were traveling and, and doing a little bit of just rest and relaxation, my wife and my kids and I, and tell you that all is not lost. While America seems to be falling into chaos and the church seems to be tearing itself apart over tertiary and even secondary issues, there are still faithful brothers and sisters out there serving the Lord and showing and extending hospitality to the brethren. That's what's coming up today on Civically Minded. Well, welcome back. And as advertised, I want to give a quick plug for tomorrow's episode you will not want to miss. Tomorrow on Civically Minded, I will be hosting via Zoom Pastor Sam Wood. He and his wife, Debbie, have run Family Fortress Ministries for over 20 years. They're wonderful people of God. They live in the Kentucky area now and serve as a parachurch organization to help give family counseling, marital guidance, and Debbie has recently written a book on how mothers and daughters can talk Christianly and biblically about human sexuality. My wife and our oldest daughter are currently going through it together, and it's been a wonderful blessing to them. So tomorrow we'll be hosting Pastor Sam Wood and maybe his lovely wife as well. We'll talk a little bit about their ministry, what they've done in the past, what they're currently doing, how you can find them, and the topic, most especially, of Christian depression. I was uh, speaking with Sam recently, and he said that that is a topic that keeps coming up in their biblical counseling sessions, that they are finding more and more Christians suffering from depression. And so we're going to explore that a little more tomorrow. So if you're a Christian that suffers from depression, or maybe you've got a family member or a friend who does, you're definitely going to want to catch tomorrow's episode of Civically Minded with Pastor Sam Wood as he talks about Christian depression. That'll be tomorrow afternoon on Civically Minded. But today I want to discuss a wonderful experience that my wife and our three kids and I had over the weekend. We went up to the Ash County area and, and the Wilkes County area of North Carolina over the weekend because we had had tickets to Merle Fest. And if you don't know what that is, Merle Fest is a longstanding um, concert festival event, uh, mostly wrapped around bluegrass music, but they call it traditional plus. So some folk music, country and Western and uh, other types of music as well, but a lot of bluegrass music. And that's a big favorite of mine, and our kids are quite into music as well. My wife, I think, stomachs it for the most part because she loves me and, of course, her kids. But we went as a family, had a wonderful time, actually saw some of uh, fellow church members and things up there as well. And we got to spend just some time resting, relaxing, and kind of, you know, spending some wonderful quality time with our kids, which we don't get as much of as we would like. Kind of the highlight of the weekend, though, was attending a new church for us. We have a church up there that's a wonderful church. Um, it's an ARP or Associated Reformed Presbyterian Church that we attend on the rare occasions that we're up there on the weekends. But this time, uh, we went and visited a church over in Boone, North Carolina, called King's Cross Reformed Church. It's a church plant. Uh, it's only got about 30 members, maybe a little less than that so far, because it's a brand new church plant. But I had met one of its lay elders last year, him and his wife and some of their children, at the Fight, Laugh, Feast conference at the Ark Encounter. That was the only time we'd ever met. We sat close to them, my father-in-law and I, and we kind of you know, shared pleasantries. Uh, we commented on how wonderfully him, his wife, and all their children could sing, and just, they were a blessing. They, they had a very godly demeanor, and you know, after a few days of being around them there at the Fight, Laugh, Feast conference, we kind of exchange pleasantries and they said, well, we're in the Boone area if you're ever up that way. Well, we were. And so we looked them up and we attended their church yesterday. They've just invited their new pastor, a young man who's just recently been ordained, who's come out of the Southern Baptist Convention, but is now more of Presbyterian leaning. And he preached a wonderful sermon out of the Gospel of John and about leaving family and friends and all other things behind and following Christ with passion. And um, really based it on the call of Andrew and Simon Peter uh, when, when they were called by Christ to be his disciples. He expounded the word well, and it was a wonderful sermon. I took many uh, uh, mental notes and, and was blessed by it. The liturgy was robust. They celebrated communion as they do every week. It was an integrated service, which if you don't know what that means, children were 
welcome. They don't have any kind of children's church or anything. So if you have children or even babies, you're welcome in the service. Um, these families were large. They took very seriously the dominion mandate to have children and, and uh, subdue the earth. And it was refreshing. We had a wonderful time of fellowship in, uh, in the service. If you're in the Boone area, I would highly recommend that you look up King's Cross Reformed Church in the Boone area and, or if any part of the high country. Um, we drove about 30, 35 minutes to be in attendance with them yesterday, and it was well worth the drive. You'll be blessed by the service, its liturgy, and the faithful exposition of the word. But really the thing that blessed us more than even the service was their hospitality. At the end of service, uh, the lay elder who I'd met, his name is John White, he came over and said, um, we'd love to have you and your family over to our home for lunch. We do it every week. It's um, you know just, just kind of a lunch with the, the families of the church. So he invited my wife, our three kids, and myself to his personal home. And again, he'd never met my wife or kids. He'd only met me and my father-in-law one time about six months ago. But the Bible does have lots to say about being hospitable and extending hospitality to the brethren. Well, I can say for Mr. White and his family, they did that and they did it in spades. When we got to his house, the new pastor and his family was there. Another uh, family from the church um, was mostly represented. Some of them were out of town as well, but there was, um, so three families from their church were represented and they had also invited an Anglican pastor and his family who lived there locally. So the four families, mine making the fifth, all sat around, ate sandwiches and, and some wonderfully fresh baked cookies, and we fellowshiped together as brothers and sisters in Christ. It was wonderful. We had an excellent time with what, until that morning, were basically strangers. It was testament to all of the claims in Scripture about the harmony that should be between the brethren. I've recently been teaching and preaching through 1 John at our own church, and there's so much said in 1 John about knowing the brethren by their love. That's what I preached on just about a Sunday ago. Of course, I was out of town this Sunday, so it was on the 21st. I'd preached out of John chapter 2 that one of the telltale marks of Christendom is love for the brethren. And what I saw yesterday in Boone, North Carolina, at King's Cross Reformed Church, was a robust love for the brethren. And that is born out of their even more faithful love for Christ. So if you're ever in the high country, certainly in the Boone area, please go visit those faithful brothers and sisters at King's Cross and tell them that Corey with Civically Minded and his family told you about it and that our experience was you won't find a more faithful, a more warm, or a more hospitable people anywhere in the high country. I just wanted to brag on them today because really it's bragging on Christ and the difference he's made in those folks' lives. So if you see this, Mr. White or any of his family, God bless you. You made such an impression on me and my wife. My wife, on our way home, was formulating ways that we could start being more hospitable to guests and folks that come and visit our own church. So know that your hospitality spoke well of you, even more so spoke well of Christ in you, and it is going to make a difference at Shearer Church here in Mooresville. So thank you so much for your faithfulness. And again, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for my wonderful interview with Pastor Sam Wood. God bless you, and I'll talk to you again real soon on Civically Minded.